guys, and welcome to another episode of Nameless, the one thing you must recall. So, I last left off where I have to decide who I'm going to go to school with. And, to be honest, it's a tie between Yunho and Lance. So, we'll see where I go with this. Who should I go to school with? <clears throat> Honestly, with how much I've been fangirling over Yunho, it would probably be highly disrespectful if I didn't go after Yunho. <laughs> Especially since, at this point, that might be where everyone kind of wants me to go anyway. <laughs> It'll be cute. And then, maybe with the next one I'll go with Lance, who knows. <clears throat> It'll all get figured out, I'm sure. So, I guess I'll go to school with Yoon because he's super fucking cute. Master! Yoon came running to me. Yeah? Let's go to school together, Master. Yoon eyes sparkled like stars while talking to me. I receive these sparkle attacks every morning. Yoon I really want to go with you too, but then I'll be squished into a squid. I remember the last time I went to school with Yoon a group of girls attacked us. I didn't want to go through that mess again. Oh, this time I'll protect Master, Yinho said while popping a vein on his white long neck. <laughs> he looks rather cute than reliable. Then how about just to the bus station, even if not to the classroom? I already spent so much er I already spent so much energy this morning. Okay, all right, Yinho beams. <laughs> Yinho keeps laughing while walking beside me. Why are you laughing? Because I'm happy. Oh, I do that too. Except I try and hide it from others because I don't want them to think of me as really fucking weird. Yunho smiles a lot, especially when he's with me. I can't believe I get to walk with Master in the morning. Every day feels like a dream, Master. Yeah, every day feels like a dream for me too. But you know, that name. Oh, r right, sorry. Uh, but to call you by your name. Yunho frowned a bit and pondered. He looked serious, but even that looked adorable to me. Yunho. I stopped. Yes? Yunho stops too. You... You're so cute! Th then... You can pat me. Aww. <laughs> I smile at seeing him look at me expectantly. Hmm. Do you want me to keep being your owner? All the other dolls treat me as their friend, but not Yunho. As the other dolls treat me as a friend, I try to do the same. But the way Yunho calls or treats me, it's like a puppy responding to his owner. I think he likes treating me as his master. Yes, I want master to continue being my master. Okay, alright. If that's the way he feels, then I should remain as his master. But be careful in the classroom, okay? Okay, uh, I will for you, master. No, no, I... I will, Aerie. It felt strange when Yinho called me by my name. I didn't realize my name sounded so smooth. Oh, the bus is coming. We should walk separately now. Oh, the time of farewell. Um... Please, please be safe and see you in class. I smiled after seeing his determined look, and I got on the bus. Aww, you know, so cute. Hey! Hey! Good morning! Hey. Hey, Shinbi. Good morning. I, uh, and good morning to you too, Zoe. Zoe looked at Yunho and Lance and smiled happily. Ever since they transferred here, I feel like I'm... I actually feel like coming to the academy! <laughs> Zoe woke up without an alarm clock today. Shinbi told me while sipping her strawberry milk. She was still expressionless, but did seem quite amused. Of course! I sense the pink rose is slowly blooming in my life now. I'm still jealous of you! Zoe pointed at me. Me? You were with the transfer students from the first day! You should really be thankful to the principal. Oh. I did make up a story about my relationship with the boys to Zoe and Shinbi. The five of them treated me naturally, even in the academy. And of course, Zoe would never have just ignored that. Thanks to that, she fiercely interrogated me that day. She was about to shoot laser beams while asking how in the world they knew me, so I racked my brain and barely came up with a story on the spot. This is how it went. 
The first day the transfer students and new teacher came to the academy, I was coincidentally passing by the principal's office when he just happened to notice me. So he requested that I help the transfer students and new teacher who came from abroad get used to the academy. After heavily emphasizing coincidentally and just happened to, Zoe acknowledged my relationship with them. Of course, with eyes full of envy and a string of doubt. I did feel bad about using the principal as an excuse, but I did succeed in fooling Zoe. I'll come to think of it, I remember what Tay said as we left the house. I'll be working at a cafe. It's called Banjul. Bring your friends sometime. It's at... Should I ask Zoe and Shinbi? Are you guys busy after school? Why? I'm free. I have something to do. Well, then, never mind. I was going to go to a cafe, but if Shinbi's busy, we can go another time. A cafe? Where? She's going to freak out if I say it's the place that famous transfer student Tay works at. I thought over whether I should sell Zoe, knowing she'll get overly excited. Ah! Zoe suddenly grabbed my wrist. What? what are you doing? Let me see the check. Huh? What? Oh, by chick she meant Yunho. Zoe gave him that nickname, thing, saying that he looked like a yellow chick. He's looking at you. <laughs> oh, Yunho. Stop being so fucking cute! Stop it! Huh? Sure enough, Yunho was staring at me. He often did that recently. I was trying hard to ignore him so he wouldn't accidentally say master. What should I do? Uh, Quick save, just in case this goes wrong. I'll approach him. You know, did something happen? Um, I don't like it. I couldn't hear his small voice. What? What did you just say? I want to... Huh? Talk a bit louder. Um, about the seat. I, I want to sit by you. Can I? I won't bother you, I promise. At that moment, it looked like Yunho had droopy ears and a tail. So cute! Can't I? Oh no, it's not that you can't, but as you can see, the seat next to me is already taken. Uh, uh of course. Sorry I asked. You don't have to worry about it. I felt bad to see him so disheartened. No, you don't have to be sorry. Uh, wait a second. With Yunho looking like that, I felt like I at least had to ask. I told him to wait and hurriedly went over to the seat owner. That girl, didn't she say a couple days ago that she couldn't see the blackboard very well? Hey, do you by any chance want to change seats to the front? I mentioned the blackboard and asked her if she wanted to change seats, but she didn't seem so keen. I guess it was because it was at the very front. But I thought hard about any possible way. It's alright. Before I knew it, Yunho came by my side and said, if it's because of me, don't worry. I would have been happy to sit there, but I don't want anyone to feel discomfort because of me. I'm fine. I'll just sit at the empty seat. Yunho gave me a fake smile. I'm sorry for asking that. Yunho bowed to the seat owner. I'm sorry for asking if I could sit there when it's already taken. He politely apologized again, and for some reason the seat owner froze. Um... The seat owner opened her mouth to say something, but hesitated. At that moment, Yunho tripped tipped his head in confusion. And in such a cute way! Sit! Sit if you want! You can sit here forever! The seat owner suddenly grabbed Yunho's hand and stood up. Yunho's final attack must have knocked her down. <laughs> I'd say so, it would knock me down too. Of course she wouldn't be human if she stood up to that, for sure. You should have told me before! Of course I should move if you want me to, so don't act like a puppy with his ears drooped. No, I mean, don't be so disappointed, I was wrong. Yeah, you were wrong. You sleep during class anyways. Sit anywhere. Right, if someone wants to sit there, you should let them. The teacher told us that he's so cute. <laughs> I mean, told us to be nice to the transfer students. You guys, you're all so kind. Thank you. I'm glad to have met such nice people. <laughs> it's not that they're nice because they're nice people. It's because you're cute and they want to look good in your eyes. <laughs> Poor little innocent Yunho. Yunho politely greeted the group of girls surrounding him. Don't they say all roads lead to Rome? Anyways, I'm just glad we reached our goal. I whispered to myself after lying down flat on the desk. How are the other kids? I just hope nothing bad happens. Oh, there's students in the background this time. You're wrong! The girls don't even face me. You're better off than me, though. Someone even said to me, Go away, you potato head! 
I wanted to make a girlfriend before I graduate. If things go on like this, I'm hopeless. Ugh, I can't believe my youth is wasting away like this. What? Wasting away? Where? Who? Who's in waste? Hey, friend, is that you? Oh, no. Red. Ugh, so loud. Get lost, redhead. Yeah, since when were we friends? Don't be obnoxious for being popular with girls. Damn. What? Why are you guys in tears? Are you guys cursed or something? Hmm, everyone's indeed lifeless. This calls for that solution. Oh, Commander! Do you know how to fix these people? They are cursed, right? The solution is... What? Tell me if you know. Don't hesitate. I do definitely know, but I'm afraid it might be a bit dangerous. Whatever it is, it will be better than them lying around cursed. What is the solution? That is... Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes, okay. G got you. I'll try my best. Okay. I have faith in you. Go on. Good luck. Roger that! Now, everyone, look here! W why am I suddenly getting goosebumps? I don't feel good about this. Me, me too. So all the poor souls cursed by evil enemies, you no longer have to worry. Today, here, I will cleanse you all. Oh, no, red. Red baby, no. C cleanse To be honest, I heard the best way is to hit you on the head, but I am a justice warrior. I can't hurt my friends. So I'll choose the second best method, even if it takes more work. That's all you have to know. The, the second best method? What's that? Before that, what do you mean by cursed? It was with the justice warrior. Don't worry too much. The commander has never been wrong, so just trust me. When this ritual is over, your souls will be cleansed and returned to their natural state. Now, I'll start now. This is the lethal move Commander taught Yellow and I. Yellow? Lethal move? Oh no! What are you going to do, Red? I don't think I want to know! Oh, he's going to be such an embarrassment more than he already is. Here! Oh, what the hell? Uh, I can't meet you! C can't meet you? I want to meet you. What? Oh, what is going on? I don't understand what is going on. Catch you, catch me. No more bullshit. Throw your melancholy away into the enemy. This heart that strives for justice. I am really, really the warrior of justice. Um. Yes. You're Tay, right? Yeah, I am. What is it? Red over there. He called you Commander. Can I ask you what that is? Oh, that? Yeah. It's nothing. He's into things like that nowadays. You know we grew up abroad, right? Before we he came here, we used to watch TV a lot to learn the language. Ah, oh, this heart that strives for justice. Oh, no. <laughs> He's getting them into it, too. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> I can't meet you. I want to meet you. He calls himself Red, probably, for that reason. He's not a bad guy, so please go along with his prank. I have to ask. Eee! Tay, I'll do anything you ask! Yeah, Red is a bit weird, but it means that he's innocent. Don't worry, Tay. Yeah, if you have anything you want, you can rely on us. We are your fan club. Ahem, <clears throat> I mean, we're on your side. Yo, how is it? My song. Don't you feel stronger after listening to it? Huh? Hey, why are you all collapsed like that? Oh no. Oh jeez, they're all a bunch of embarrassments, aren't they? Music is like a woman. Depending on how you interpret it, it can be a fierce and sexy jazz tune or a pure and soft ballad. The same goes for instruments. FYI, Muse, the goddess of music, gathered her blinding beauty who de de into delicate notes to hide herself in sheets of music. We should remember this end. Oh, um, Mr. Yuri. So when you play an instrument, you should take hold of it as softly and fiercely as... <clears throat> um, Mr. Yuri. Damn, this is why I don't like co-ed schools. Yes, that boy with his hand up. What do you want? It must be such an important question to interrupt me like that. No, no, it's, it's not that. Um, I just didn't understand you. Not understand? Which part? Ev every part. Tsk. I'll explain again, so listen carefully. 
An instrument you know, the more you play it, it succumbs to your will, like a lovely bashful girl. No, not at all. What? No, no, I mean, sh show it to us. I think I'll understand better if you demonstrate what you just said. Alright, I'll demonstrate this once, so focus. This. Like this, like this. Like this. Oh, no. No, Yuri, stop. No. No, 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 no. I can't believe I'm about to read this. Okay, this is, this is gonna... Oh no, I don't want to read this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Stroke it, like this. Press it with your fingertips, pull a bit, and yes, when it climaxes here, right here! We will adjust the screen for a moment. Yeah! Uh, thank you. Ah, the bell rang, end of class. See you next class, my dear lambs. Adios. I... Oh, man. Okay, so now we're at lunch, I guess. God, so many people as usual. I ran to the cafeteria as soon as the bell rang, but it was already packed with starving students. Unless Moses descends and lays down a miracle, getting through this crowd will be impossible. Hey! Turning around at the familiar voice, I saw Red and Tay. Oh, Tay, and Red. You guys got here alright. The building is a bit complicated, so first-timers usually get lost. Huh? Oh, our friends let us here. Thanks. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, no, it's nothing. I can't meet you. I want to meet you. Catch you, catch me, I'll catch you. The voice seemed to be possessed by something and disappeared into the crowd. You've made some weird friends. Yeah? Odd. They're pretty nice. Do they need to be cleansed more? I'll call them again tomorrow. What? Cleansed? Red has obviously started one of his ridiculous pranks. Anyways, do you think we'll be able to eat, though? It's more crowded than we heard it'd be. Tay slightly frowned at the packed cafeteria. Well, this is usually how it is. Some kids have said they heard the building crack when there really was a lot of people. Isn't that a bit dangerous? You guys, what are you doing here? Oh, Mr. Yuri? Seeing the massive crowd of boys following behind Yuri, I forgot what I was about to say. Prophet, please tell us how to play. Please, please, after that, tell us the next method other than the one you just taught in class. I have had 18 years as forever alone and I have 12 years until I become a wizard. Please do not abandon this poor soul. Oh, dear little lambs, you are all too young to realize the deep truths of this world. It was ridiculous the way Yuri shook his head. I almost nearly said it's only been six days since you became human. But if someone can extinguish my famine, I myself will tell my secrets to just one person. It requires a lot of strength to pass down the secret. Is that true? Do not worry, I will go and get the daily bread for our prophet. Let's go, guys! Ah, popular everywhere I go. What the hell are you doing, Mr. Yuri? What do you mean? I've just been teaching the students as I'm required to do, and you should ask that question to that puppy over there and not me. What? Look over there. Yuri pointed at no other than Yeon. Yinho. Oh no. Yinho was already successfully in the cafeteria and surrounded by girls. Yinho, have the sandwich! Okay, the- thank you. Can I instead poke your cheeks just for a second? What? Oh, um... Don't be like that. You let Zoe touch it. Let me too, please. Oh, um, uh... Yunho was restless and smothered by a group of girls. Like the girl said, Zoe frequently pokes Yunho's cheeks. At seeing Yunho feel embarrassed, I ask her why. Then Zoe started shouting passionately. It's natural that if you like something, you want to see it. If you see it, you want to touch it! I think Yunho was quite touched by that, since from then on he let Zoe play around. But I'm worried that all the other girls will try to do the same things, try to do the same things to that. Although Zoe is a bit strange, I'd rather have just her torment, you know. Although Zoe is a bit strange, I'd rather have just her torment, you know. But sorry, you know. Although I want to go and rescue you, my starving body just does not have the strength to get through the crowd. That Yunho, he's pretty good. He has a bright future. He'll become a great man and follow my footsteps. No, Yuri. I'll do everything in my power to make sure that never happens. What? what That's... 
I was thinking that by myself when something ran towards us like a bull. It was a girl. Tay, this! Have this! The place suddenly turned into a stage for the girl to declare her love. Although she made quite an entrance, she, she seemed more nervous and had her eyes shut. Oh, sorry. I have to refuse. Tay, people said you don't take presents or confessions. It was true. <laughs> It hasn't been a couple of days since he came here, and yet there were already rumors on how he refused all the girls. But why doesn't he take the presents? It wouldn't be a big deal to take them. Such a waste. Really? No. I searched for this really hard to give it to you. Uh, this is awkward. Sorry, but thanks. Tay smiled awkwardly. Let down by his refusal, the girl treaded back. You could have taken it. She picked it for you. That knowing little smile. He likes me. That's why he's not taking any gifts from any other girls. They all like me. That's why they won't do that. God. T smiled and looked at me. It was a pretty smile, but I didn't know what it meant. We should eat lunch somewhere else today. There's too many people, no? After saying that, Tay turned around. What? I feel like he just avoided from answering. He did! He did, because he likes you! Ah, that's... Uh. Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it! He's cute! He's fucking cute! No! No! Ah, uh, like, I already had, like, a little itty-bitty thing, and now I've got even more of a thing, and it's like, no! It's because you're so casual and subtle about it, and it's really nice, and it's just... Uh, no! Like, I'm so bad at picking up on that stuff. It's just, like, the main character's probably gonna be, but, like... Still, it's highly appreciated, and it's cute, if I know of it, and I- uh, Damn it! No! Am I wrong? While seeing Tay walk away, I noticed the clock on the cafeteria wall. Oh, look at the time! Lunch is going to be over soon! Oh, well, head on! Ugh. I was about to jump into the crowd when someone grabbed my clothes. What? what Head on. If you go in there, you'll get trampled. You're too tiny. I turned around to find Red holding onto my collar. And he was holding onto my shoulders as well, trying to stop me. Wait here, I'll be back. And he read the menu on the cafeteria wall over my head. I can definitely feel the height difference now that I'm right by his side. I can't even see the menu with my height. So, what do you want? Tell me. Um, oh right, I want that. That bread. I point at the food I want. Roger, heroine. You wait here. Red beamed at me and disappeared into the crowd. Considering it's red, he did seem quite trustworthy right now. And right then, I heard another familiar voice behind my back. To be exact, the voice was familiar, but a bit more nasal. Oh my god! Isn't this my bestest friend ever here who just happened to be here at the same time as me? It was Zoe. Uh, you surprised me. Oh, friend! What are you so surprised about? Oh, uh, nothing. I thought you said you brought your lunch today. Ow! Zoe pinched my side. Oh my god, what are you talking about? I come here every day, you know that. I remember Zoe once telling me, I'm never going to that filthy place filled with sweaty bums. I guess she remembers that too, since she was screaming with laughter. Wait, you were at the cafeteria with the ho hot five? Hot? What? The hot five! You didn't know! Tay and Red, who were just with you, are all members of the hot five! Yunho Lance from our class, Tay Red, who are the sophomores, and plus Mr. Yuri make five, so hot five! Hot five. I recall the name of some boy band that disbanded a long time ago. I guess the kids in this academy are pretty old school. But more importantly, the five boys must have become incredibly famous here. I mean, they were talked about a lot from the first day. It was surprising how much they knew just by not being in the same class. Of course, Zoe would be able to recite the name of every hot boy in other academies, but it seems that even the other girls had their eyes on him. Eyes on them. At that moment, a familiar face approached me. Ugh, why are you here now? Hmm, looking at your bus size, you must be freshmen, Zoe. Oh my, you know me? What an honor, Mr. Yuri! I think he just sexually harassed her, but no one seemed to care. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, he kind of just, he kind of did a little bit. Just, you know, a tad, and very bluntly at that. Of course, I know everything that's beautiful, especially if it is a woman. Oh, Mr. Yuri, you have quite an eye. <laughs> I shouldn't interrupt their conversation. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not helping her. That seems to be the best for my mental health. Oi, you! 
I was trying my best to ignore the two when Red shouted my name. What? Oh my god. Over there, Red was at the counter with an armful of bread. What are you doing there? Giving out bread. What? The cafeteria lady seemed too busy, to, so this justice warrior decided to step up and help. She told me she'd give me three pieces of bread instead. The price for justice! He said he was going to get bread, but now he was at the cafeteria... But now he was the cafeteria lady's assistant. So Red... Red pretends to throw the bread. Ugh, you're going to throw it? Always the best at making a fuss. Oh, it's Lance. I thought it was gonna be like the creepy teacher with the skeletons. I turned around to see Lance silently approach me. Lance frowns at seeing Red. Red seems so pathetic to him as usual. Well, there does seem to be something else. But before I could figure out his expression, he went into the cafeteria without saying a word. Hey, take this! Ha! I was distracted looking at Lance when Red threw something at me. Ah! I feel like things around me are in the air often. A piece of bread was flying towards my way like one of Lance's slippers. Ah, enough! This is enough! Ignoring what I just said, Red kept on throwing bread. I hurriedly took all the bread. Eat everything! You have to eat a lot if you want to fight for justice! Red beamed from afar. Ugh. After that, Red threw bread to all the other hungry souls in the cafeteria. I was about to ask Red when he was going to eat, but he looked so excited, so I stopped. Now what should I do with all this bread? It's way too much for me to eat by myself. Where should I eat it? Give to Zoe, eat where there are a lot of people, go to a corner and eat there. I don't know! What uh, the... <clears throat> Um... I don't like a lot of people. Uh, but maybe I could hand off the bread to other people if I went to where there's a lot of people. Because normally I would just choose this option. Uh, I think I'll go to where there's a lot of people. No, no, I don't really. Uh, let's just go to a corner. I found an empty seat in the corner and took all my bread there. Then I saw Lance standing by himself beside the window at the opposite corner of the cafeteria. Doesn't he eat? I approached Lance, thinking I'd give some of the bread Red gave me. Aren't you eating? I'm not that hungry. You nagged me for skipping breakfast. It's not good for you to skip lunch. Here. I gave the bread Red gave me. At home, Tay prepares every meal for us, but there's nothing besides cafeteria food to eat here. You know was the one who nagged you, and I have already expressed that I am not hungry. Then maybe later, it is fine. Lance cut my words and refused. Fine, all right. I felt timid at seeing Lance speak to me so coldly. I better just back down this time. The sponge cakes are really good. Fine, I won't give it to you later. Ha! Should I eat with Red? I saw Red saying hi to the cafeteria lady with his hands full of bread. There will never come a time when I ask for bread from that idiot. That idiot Lance is talking about is surely Red. Lance really doesn't seem to like Red. It still bothered me that he glared at Red when he came into the cafeteria. I wanted to know exactly what about La Red Lance hated so much. Red thought of me. Why do you hate Red so much? I guess it is indeed a talent to show off your affections like he does. Lance stood up from his seat. Lance, I do not like noise. He looked at me once and just coldly passed, be passed by me. He didn't seem to feel so good. He wasn't usually like that. Does he hate what Red did that much? So, if I would have went into the crowd, I probably would have ate with Red. Went into the corner, went with Lance. If I was to go with Zoe, I would have been with Yuri. Okay. I think that's how that would have went. Anyways, at that, I'm going to let it off here. Uh, I'm a little bit curious when it comes to all the boys and whatnot, but I'm sure everything will get sorted eventually and we'll find out more and more as we go along. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.